Hello, and welcome to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel here at Holy Cross Church in Portola, California. Today we celebrate Friday's Mass in the fourth week in Ordinary Time. Our presiders are Pastor Monsignor Scott Doherty. The intention of this Mass is in memory of Steve Allen. Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us. Powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare for this Holy Mass, we ask for God's pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr, St. Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many of you were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly of the world and despised those who count for nothing to reduce to nothing, those who are something, so that no human being might, be bo might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. So that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. The response is, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your, na your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, I commend, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy. Into your, your hands, O Lord, Lord, I commend in my spirit. spirit. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. Into your, your hands, O Lord, Lord, I commend in my spirit. spirit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake 
will find it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his glory, and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate St. Agatha, also known as Agatha of Sicily, which is one of the most highly venerated virgin martyrs of the church. It is believed that she was born around the year 231 in either Catania or Palermo in Sicily to a rich noble family. From her very early years, the notably beautiful Agatha dedicated her life to God. She became a consecrated virgin a state in life where young women choose to remain celibate and give themselves wholly to Jesus and the church in a life of prayer and service. That did not stop men from desiring her and making her unwanted advances toward her. However, one of the men who desired Agatha, whose name was Quintanius, because he was of high diplomatic ranking, thought he could force her to turn away from her vow and force her to marry. His persistent proposal were consistently spurned by Agatha, so Quintanius, knowing she was a Christian during the persecution of Odysseus, had her arrested and brought before the judge, and he was the judge. He expected her to give in to his demands when she was faced with torture and possible death, but she simply reaffirmed her belief in God by praying, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, you see my heart, you know my desires, Possess all that I am. I am your sheep. Make me worthy to overcome the devil. With tears falling from her eyes, she prayed for courage. Agatha continued to proclaim Jesus as her Savior, Lord, life, and hope. Quintanius ordered her to be tortured. She is believed to have passed into heaven around the year 251. St. Agatha is the patron saint of Sicily. Her feast day is celebrated today on February 5th. St. Agatha, you suffered sexual assault and indignity because of your faith and purity. Help heal all those who are survivors of sexual assault and protect those women who are in danger. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our faithful God hears the cry of the poor. With confidence, let us present our petitions. The response to each petition is hear us, O Lord. For the purification, sanctification, and continuing conversion of Pope Francis, Pope Emeritus Benedict, Bishop Joseph Bremer, Bishop Emeritus Armando Ochoa, all clergy and religious, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For the defeat of the coronavirus, for an end to the pandemic, and the healing of all who are afflicted by the virus, for all who suffer disasters, for God's healing hand upon the United States of America, we pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For peace in our nation, that all racism, hatred, division, and vengeance cease. Let your spirit renew the face of the earth and the hearts and minds of all your children. We pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For the intention of this Mass, in memory of Steve Allen, we pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For all who have died, victims of war and violence, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, fallen in military service, victims of abortion, and for all those who have recently died, Marcella Andrade, Avalia Barbosa, Felipe Castillo, Charlotte Lamont, Hilda Lisa Lopez, 
Miguel Ortega, Isaiah Toledo, Kyle Williams, Raquel Johnston, Kim O'Connor, Julito Ten Chavez. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For the sick, especially those fallen ill due to the coronavirus, for victims of oppression, hatred, war, and violence, especially the violence of sexual exploitation and assault, that they may be blessed with the fullness of health in body, mind, and soul. Please keep in your prayers Ken Boldorama, Linda Barra, Tamara Corwin, Alma Flinor, Bill Fusco, Alex Garcia, Marilyn Conda, Vince Labou, Phil LaMonaco, Carlos Lopez, Mary Lou Marine, Judy Ramirez, Cruz Ojeda, Marcia Shaw, Janice Thomas, Jan Weva, Monsignor John Quilo Hargandigi, Monsignor John Esquivel, Monsignor Ron Royer, Father Angel Satello, Deacon Mike Avila, we pray to the Lord. Hear, hear us, O Lord. For the protection of law enforcement officers, persons in the military, firefighters, providers of medical services, that they serve with honor and courage and return home in good health in body, mind, and soul. We pray to the Lord. Hear, hear us, O Lord. For faithful Christ-centered priests to serve God's people and preside at his holy altars. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For rain and snow to nourish our lands and lives, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For the freedom to gather unfettered in our churches, we pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For our personal intentions, which we pause to include in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Lord God, our Father, please listen to our prayers and make us worthy followers of your Son. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice to your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of our suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you costly in earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, 
you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only say the word in my soul, soul shall I be healed. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Jesus, sanctify me. Body of Jesus, save me. Blood of Jesus, wash me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Hide me within your sacred wounds. O oh, sacred heart of Mary, plead for me and love me. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints, for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of the sacrament, that, bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth to proclaim the gospel with our lives. Thanks be to God.